farmers have always had to adapt to changing conditions. It's the nature of the business. The reform just gave us more incentives to adapt. My name is Lou Donaldson. I own a dairy farm near Wanaki with my sister Greta. I'm also a water quality specialist with the Yahara Watershed Management Authority. Our farm fared well in the floods from this past April. We experienced little damage. The tough decisions Greta and I had to make when the reform passed 30 years ago have paid off in the long run. We used to have nearly 400 dairy cows. Now we have 60, which we raise on pasture. Pasture-based farming really soared after the reform since the method helps farmers comply with erosion and runoff regulations. I guess you could say we cultivate the land as though water were a crop. Yep, fresh milk and clean water keeps our farm running. Watersheds are natural boundaries for managing water. By dividing authority over water by watershed, instead of by state like before, the reform has improved Yahara's water security. It has also helped us manage water for the good of the land and the people as a whole. The Yahara Watershed subunit is part of the Upper Mississippi Watershed Unit, since our water ultimately feeds the Mississippi River. So how well we meet our goals for improving water quality affects how well the whole Upper Mississippi Unit performs. So we all have to work together to make sure we have clean and abundant fresh water. Like all Upper Mississippi watersheds, Yahara has to send a certain amount of its water to the communities in the southwest that ran out of water in the crisis of the 2030s. So a lot of the water management we do here is to make sure we have enough water to share. Water conservation has really become the norm. For example, Yahara cities and towns have revamped their infrastructure to conserve water, while also dealing with urban runoff and flooding risks. The reform incentivized green infrastructure such as rain gardens, pervious pavements, green roofs, and better public transportation. But even with this infrastructure, it's hard to keep up with the surprises that nature throws us sometimes, like the floods we experienced this April. They sorely tested the watershed's ability to meet our water quality targets. Our adaptations have been good enough so far, but we don't really know for how long they'll continue to be effective. Adaptation is a never-ending cycle. But normally, the Yahara Watershed does a good job of meeting water management requirements. We have some good policies and programs in place that have really helped our communities and farms follow regulations. Natural area restoration programs are one example. Thousands of acres in the watershed have been restored back to prairies, forests, and wetlands. The Watershed Management Authority gives landowners incentives to do this, such as payments for the amount of groundwater their land collects from the rain. The restoration programs have also created jobs, which has helped with unemployment. The reform essentially oriented all land management around protecting our freshwater resources so that we can avoid another water crisis, like the one that spurred the reform in the first place. Water is a shared resource. It's our wealth, especially here in Yahara. I think how we now treat water is just a reflection of this fact.